Good morning, marketers. And from Marketing Acuity again, today I'm gonna to talk to you about go-to-market plans. So what is a go-to-market plan and what is it not? Well, first of all, I will tell you it is not a launch plan. So you have a lot of people on the internet who wanna sell you a launch plan or wanna show you how to do a launch plan that's designed really to market a business. A go-to-market plan is totally different. A go-to-market plan backs you way up and says finance, marketing, product, and personnel all go into all the things that you have to get done within your amount of time that you have to get them done to be able to launch your business or your product. So all businesses, as a startup coach, all businesses um, have a runway. So runway is the length of time and the amount of money you have to get your business off the ground that, to that moment of lift where it is self-sustaining before you crash and burn, right? And run out of money to be able to do it. So. What a go-to-market plan is, is designed to maximize your runway and get your business uh, off the ground in a certain amount of time. So it is very high level tasks and things that you need to do to make sure that your business can launch its product and or launch a new product or launch a new business in the amount of time and money that you have to do this. So let's break it down. First of all, product. You started a business for something. You had a great idea. You came up with it, you said, I've got this wonderful product, I wanna launch it. So product is your gift, it's your talent. So you have to develop your product and you have to de develop your product in all of those different ways. You have to do customer discovery. Do I have the right product at the right price point that people wanna buy? A lot of people go out there and say, I have a great idea and I wanna sell it for $59.95 without ever checking with their audience to say, do you wanna buy this for $59.95? Would you buy it at $129.95? If you don't go out and do a lot of this sort of customer discovery in the beginning, you're not really ever gonna know, you're just gonna launch a product without any information. So make sure you do the backup to that to make sure you've got the right product, you've got it in place, you know people wanna buy it, there's a market for it, you've tested this, you've asked people in your industry or in your market, would you like to buy a product like this? You've done some research, right? So once you get your product together, then you have to focus on finance, Okay? You've got to develop something in a certain amount of time frame with some money. Maybe it's your money, maybe it's somebody else's money, but you've got to do it in a certain amount of time frame. So you have some finance things that you have to take care of every single week. And not just accounting and bookkeeping. This is like thinking about the big picture. How much money are we burning through this week? And what do I really need to focus on? What do I really need to spend? And then you've got personnel. You're not doing this by yourself. Whether you're hiring a consultant for marketing, web development, technology, search engine optimization, product development, tooling your machine shop, whatever it is, you might be hiring people to help you do this work. Packing and boxing things, even if you're hiring your kids to do stuff, you have to have personnel to be able to help you do whatever it is you're gonna do. And then of course, marketing, which is what we typically think of when we think of a launch, marketing. Marketing is gonna be all of the activities that you're gonna do to get your product out there, product, price, place, price, and promotion, right? So all of those things are gonna go into that uh, in marketing. And what you wanna do with your go-to-market plan is you wanna set it up so that every week, you have a major high level goal for each one of those areas. You can add additional areas if you want to, but you wanna have a high level goal for each one. It's not a plan. You're gonna have a separate marketing plan, definitely gonna have separate financial plans, you're probably gonna have some personnel plans, and you definitely are gonna have some product planning, especially if you're doing the product development yourself. So this is a high level thing. I need to accomplish this at the end of this week in order to move on to be able to get to this next week. And you're gonna build it for a finite period of time. We like to build them for 12 weeks when we coach startups because typically our engagement with them is about four to five months. And then we have to get them to the point where at the end of our coaching, we push them off into the world and they have to be able to do this on their own. So this go-to-market plan gives them an opportunity to say, these are the things I'm gonna get done in this time frame, and it helps them map it out. It's not a calendar, although you can put the tasks on your calendar, the items on your calendar. At the end of the week, I need to be here. But it's not a calendar. It really is, these are the things I need to get done at the end of the week, and then you're gonna use that to build your week-by-week -week activities so you can make sure that you get done what you need to to not run out of time, money, or runway. So a go-to-market plan is a really important part of starting a new business, for sure, but it's also really an important part of starting a new product. So if you're launching a new product and you wanna get out there with that new product, you have to do that due diligence, whether your product is digital, physical, whether it's a service that we've productized, it doesn't matter. You have to make sure that you're ready to go out there with the amount of time, effort, energy, and money that you have put in place to be able to do that. 
So go to Market Plan is a really, really useful tool. And starting next week at marketingacuity.com slash blog, you'll be able to find our go to market plan that we use for startup coaching. Our last project was startup coaching in the former Soviet Republic of Georgia. So to totally an emerging market, a uh, population of about 4 million people. Most of the, the 17 companies that our teams coached um, during this four to five month period of time, they were launching either within Georgia or outside of it. And I focused on companies that were in my areas of expertise, which are technology, consumer goods, and um, I also focus on uh, craft products like consumer goods in that area, food, craft, things like that, and um, healthcare. So um, travel and tourism as well. So those areas of expertise are what I deal with in startup coaching, but there's a lot of other startup coaches that we're dealing with, things like oil and gas and manufacturing and, and raw materials and a lot of other things that are much more sciencey than I was involved in. Um, but the most important thing that you need to know about a go-to-market plan is it's really important to do one if you're launching something. At the very least, it's going to keep you in a narrow, focused zone every single week and say, these are the things I need to accomplish. I can't go out over here and spend this money. I can't go out over here and talk to these other consultants. I have to focus on these things in order to be able to get from here to here in the amount of time that I have in my runway. So check it out. Go to Market Plans. They're really important.